The next factor to dive into is carat weight. A carat, if you're wondering, is a measure of weight equal to 0.2 grams, or one-fifth of a gram. On the next slide, I will show you the different sizes on a ring, in earrings, and in a necklace. What I want to say here is that the most that most engagement rings feature a diamond of about 0.85 carats to 1.5 carats, with many shoppers aspiring to stay above the 1 carat mark. However, a very pretty ring can be constructed with a center stone of under 1 carat, with many smaller diamonds surrounding it. This is known as a halo setting, and a good solution if you're looking for a substantial visual impact on a limited budget. Of course, you can also make a, a halo setting with a larger diamond and get even, even more of a visual impact. Diamonds for stud earrings are usually in the 0.25 to 0.75 range, or even smaller, per stone. For reference, the stud earrings on Tiffany's website range from 0.22 to 0.31 of total carat weight which is only 0.11 to 0.155 carats per stone. Those aren't very big studs, but it just gives you an idea of, uh, or, you know, a reference point um, for, for what, is, what is common for stud earrings. Another thing to note is that your eye perceives the size of something like a ring or a gemstone largely in proportion to the diameter or radius of the face. So it's not really in proportion to the, like, the volume or the weight that your eye really sees in size. This is interesting because as you go from, a, like, a 1 carat ring to a 1.5 carat ring, even though the ring is 1.5 times the weight, it's only going to be about 1.17 times the diameter. So it will, you know, it's, it's going to be perceived as 20% bigger, even though on a carat basis, carat weight basis, it's 50% bigger. It's just something to be aware of as you um, are thinking about your diamond purchase and, you know, what really matters and how much should it matter and how much should you be willing to pay for it. Even more interesting, though not surprising, is that in order to get that 20% bigger looking stone, you're probably going to have to pay about two to two and a half times the price. So this is because price moves exponentially rather than linearly in relation to the number of carats. So a two carat diamond, for example, is going to cost four times what a one carat diamond would cost. And conversely, a 0.5 carat diamond will probably cost somewhere in the neighborhood of one fourth the cost of a of a one carat diamond. So it you know price moves in relation to the square of carats. Okay. <clears throat>